Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. And I have a lot of new information for y'all today. Matter of fact, we got the new data coming in from the reconnaissance planes. And not only is the first hurricane panel, the second hurricane panel, both of them are just trending that this is going to be a Cat 4 hurricane when it comes in. And there's a new trend going on. There's going to be a little western wobble as well. So I'm going to show you all the latest information. Matter of fact, you can see this morning that it does have a lot of convection going on with the storms, and it's already starting to hit by the western keys. A lot of strong cells. You can see how it's going to the west right now. Now, this will do a western push at first on your winds and your flow, but as we go into tomorrow, it's going to start being inland and be even more serious. But it is a strong storm. Matter of fact, it has formed up to Hurricane Idalia. Now, right now, it is at 74 miles per hour sustained winds, and it is growing very fast. But the concerning part is now it's starting to speed up. It's moving north at 8 miles per hour now. So I'm going to give you all the latest information you ever remember before. Make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. Matter of fact, you can see major hurricane Cat 4 Franklin over here. Just getting very strong. Matter of fact, we're even seeing something new this morning. If you remember last week, I showed you how the Euro show this coming in. And then it sits here and just wobbles for a minute. Well, GFS is confirming that wobble this morning. Not only that, it's showing it possibly can come back and have a tropical storm come and hit y'all again. So we'll show you all the latest updates. Let me get into your information. Now, this is a 4 a.m. update. There will be one coming out later as well. I just want to get y'all information as early as possible so y'all can get prepared so you know what is going on. And if something comes out to where it shows before my afternoon update of this potential Cat 4 hurricane, I will do another video before my update video just to confirm that with y'all guys. Wait till you see the information I have for you. Now, it does show it will be a major hurricane still, still be a hurricane on land, be a tropical storm. And then after three days, they don't know from fourth and fifth day what could happen. You still have the same thing out. You have tropical storm warnings in the blue. You still have them over here also, this western Apalachicola. You have the hurricane warning still in the red. You still have the tropical storm watches in the yellow. But you can see the latest update with GFS confirming it will be a major hurricane on landfall, guys. And as it goes out into the Atlantic, comes right on back and maybe a potential tropical storm coming right back on y'all again right around Labor Day weekend. Now here's the latest update from National Hurricane Center on your rainfall. It has moved a little bit, it has grown. Not only all this yellow is four to six inches of rainfall, all this orange, which is six to 10 inches, has grown more into Georgia, even over here towards South Carolina, it has grown even more, and a little bit along the coast of North Carolina. It's just gonna be a widespread, heavy amount of flooding going on. And you can see the four to six inches did carry even further past Tampa now. So it is growing, guys. Now, the latest update on your storm surge is still showing the same thing as last night. You still have the chances for 8 to 12 feet, even if the center of this storm moves a little bit further to the west, which is what's trending on the hurricane panels. You're still expected up to 8 to 12 feet because right where you're at, and this is a concave, so it will be taking in all that storm surge, guys. And you see where it goes 5 to 8 feet, 3 to 5 feet, 1 to 3 feet. Also, it carries around 6 to 9 feet. That's a little bit different. Still 4 to 7 for Tampa Bay. Still have 3 to 5 right here, 2 to 4, 1 to 3, and still 1 to 2 feet for the Florida Keys. Plus the northeast side by Jacksonville, you have one to three feet. Georgia and South Carolina still two to four feet. Now this is inundation on top of dry ground. Just remember that. Plus your zoomable map on the storm surge. Remember this link is in the description as well. Remember all the orange is above six feet. All the red is above nine feet storm surge expected. So that's pretty high up. You're talking about street lights that are nine, 10 feet above ground. It'll be about that height of water coming in in these areas. And this is covering a lot of Florida for today. So just remember this map is in the description. You go zoom in even for the Tampa Bay region and you can go see all the storm surge that is expected for your region. Plus remember you do have that tornado threat for today and it is growing for tomorrow. So you have the 2% and you have the 5%. So far here's your cities and states at risk for the tornadoes for today. Now for tomorrow, for Wednesday, it has grown as well. You have a big 2% as well, but a big 5% as well. So, so far, here's your cities and states at risk for tornadoes for Wednesday as this system comes across with all of the banding. Now the latest on the Euro shows that it will barely be a Cat 2. I mean, right on the edge of being a Cat 2 hurricane. It's not even showing the major. GFS definitely agrees that it will be a major hurricane guys and it's still confirmed that right around labor day 
this thing could come right back and become a tropical storm for y'all as well. It's still too far down the road to take that as law, but I will keep you updated. Even the Icon model agrees that it will be a Cat 3 major hurricane. Now, one of the problems I have, I have this link in the description so you can go zoom in and see for yourself. One of the problems I have, I'm not even going by the Euro, it's barely showing a Cat 2. GFS shows a major hurricane, but these winds do not tell me that this would be a major hurricane. It's barely getting into 70 miles per hour wind gusts. The icon I'm still showing shows major hurricane impacts, but the track of the GFS, a little bit further to the west than right here next to Cedar Key, that is trending on the hurricane panel, so remember that. But as far as the intensity, this shows me that it would be uh, major hurricane impacts from the icon. So you can use this, zoom in, go see your area and see what your potential outcome is for these wind gusts that does pass through. Because this is showing major hurricane status, guys, all the way into Georgia, all the way on the edge of South Carolina, all the way to North Carolina. It's just a lot of strong wind gusts coming all the way down towards Sarasota. This is believable from what it should be. Matter of fact, it could be stronger if the hurricane panels are correct and this becomes a cat four now just to show you it's trending use our own brain guys we can figure this out for ourselves. as we look with the steering winds we see as it goes and gets steered to the east northeast look how it does a little western wobble goes right where gfs is saying down to a 934 guys this is a cat four hurricane this is a hurricane analysis forecast system a i will show you b as well but just to show you, down to a 945, a 944 is a Cat 4 hurricane. Also, use our own brain. Look at this shear, guys. Not getting a lot of shear on this storm. It is in its favor for gradual development as it goes towards shore and intensifies. It don't stay a Cat 3. It goes down to a Cat 4. Also, using our own brain, look at the temperatures. It's going into 30 and 31 degrees Celsius temperatures, guys. That is one to two degrees above average. Very warm waters. Also, using our own brain, you can see the precipitation. That there's not a lot of dry air in the air. You can see what just relative humidity. You see all the moisture, all the precipitation in its path. So it has a lot of precipitation for these storms to grow. It's going to above average warm waters. It's not getting no shear. This will intensify. It will not stop at a Cat 3. It will keep going all the way to landfall. And I'm still showing a Cat 4. And the Hurricane Panel A takes it all the way down to a 933. I will show you what B shows. Also bringing in some very fierce winds all the way down to 147 miles per hour sustained winds. Remember yesterday this showed the major. It has upgraded. Remember, the reconnaissance airplane information goes into this model data. This is the update. Hurricane Panel B also shows this western wobble going right towards the same place, not towards Cedar Key. It's going further to the west, also showing a major hurricane, guys. Also, using our own brain, showing this wind shear, that this will be a Cat 4 major hurricane. That This one favors maybe a little more shear. We'll get in there at the last minute, but still a Cat 4 major hurricane. Remember, Cat 4 is 944-945 millibars. We're in the 930s. B panel also showing it's going to 30 and 31 degrees Celsius temperatures, guys. That is still 1 to 2 degrees above average. And B panel also agreeing that it's going to be full of precipitation in the air to feed this storm. There will be no dry air. It will be a Cat 4 hurricane. All the dry air is somewhere else. Taking it all the way down to a 935. It is trending on both hurricane models, guys. These models are made and released for this year to replace the h wharf from a long time ago. They used to overdo it. They're both trending together on temperatures, on relative humidity, on wind shear, on direction, the wobble, and intensity. So a little bit closer look at your chances for tornadoes. Let me turn this off for a second. So the 2%, I have the 2% in this red, and I have the 5% in all of this pink. So if you're in this reddish to this brownish color, you have the 2% chance for tornadoes for today. If you're in this bright pink, you have the better chance of getting tornadoes 
for today. Now this will change for tomorrow as well. So let me show you what you have for tomorrow for your chances for tornadoes. So if you're in the brownish red, all the way from Florida again, you have chance for the 2% and 5% is all of this pink. All the way into Georgia, chances for your tornadoes for tomorrow. Also into South Carolina, chances for your tornadoes and North Carolina. So I will show you all the latest updates. Remember, I will update this afternoon, but I also will update before that if they confirm that this has the Cat 4 potential hurricane to come out of this, guys. So if they actually show that, which is from what I can see, I will update you before this afternoon just so you know what the truth is behind everything going on. So here's your latest outlook on these bandings that's coming through. It's just starting. It is going to start around Sarasota, Cape Coral around 2 p.m. You're going to start getting tropical storm force winds as this comes in and moves forward. Still moving at 8 miles per hour to the north. But thank you so much for your time, everybody. God bless you and your families. Keep you all safe today. Today is going to be a pretty big day. And if y'all do want to help me with the feeding program, remember the links are in the description. If you want to get some of that merch, remember 100% of it, all of it goes towards feeding families. I will continue to do that. I will do that for the rest of my days. Amen. We're supposed to help people, supposed to feed people. So I will not stop doing that. Now today I want to tell you a verse. James 1, verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and abradeth not, and it shall be given him. Amen. Take this information I have showed you. Make your own decisions. It is trending, guys. There's a few factors that you look to when you check to see what will be rapid intensification. You check the shear. You check the moisture in the atmosphere. And you check the temperatures in the water. They're all showing rapid intensification will happen. They do agree rapid intensification will happen. For some reason, they're seeing that it will stop right here and just be a cat three at 121 nine miles per hour short of a cat four with all that to go i do not believe that and i've seen the comments I meaning you do not believe that as well so please prepare for stronger impacts than you're being told i'll see you all this afternoon thank you all for sharing and liking the video alerting new people if you read the comments, you'll see there's people that still didn't know about this, which is unbelievable. Thank you all for being prepared for this storm. Thank you for listening. When others laughed at me for warning y'all, thank you for listening. Remember, all glory always goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh. I would have never had this job if he wouldn't have taken me from being a supervisor at a bread company to live streaming Maria and doing all kind of weather info for people that need help. It is who I am today because of him. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for taking over my life.